Okay, now that you have your puzzle cube built, we want to build your part files in Inventor. Um, you're going to do a new standard part. Okay, so click create on that. It takes a minute to load. And the part that I want to model building, you want to build as efficiently as possible, is this green piece. It's three blocks across, three blocks deep, but it's got this missing corner and it's got this block here added on. So that'll show building that in a couple of steps. So first you gotta create a sketch and decide how you're gonna build it. Um, I'll do my rectangle tool. Make sure you hit the origin. Now notice my little crosshairs. The dot turns green when I'm on the origin. Uh, Inventor will do math for you. So I'm gonna put in 0.75 times three. Hit tab. And notice that says it's two and a quarter inches. And then 0.75. And you'll notice um, escape always gets you out of a tool. So a second ago, I was in the rectangle tool. Escape is the button that you'll want to have your finger on a lot because that exits you out of a tool. So, of course, there's that two and a quarter, and there's it's doing the math for us. Okay? Um, and then either finish sketch or E to extrude and of course I want to extrude that a distance of 2.25 so there is my full block um, I'm going to select a new face let's do a new rectangle on that face again make sure that corner turns green 1.5 by 1.5 and you'll notice that's all purple it's fully constrained and now we want to do a cut extrusion okay make sure the direction goes so that it will cut some material away and Gave me an error message for some reason. Let's try that again. I want to cut and distance all. There we go. Okay, and then next I need to add, there's my shape. I need to add this little block on the bottom. So this time I'll, let's see, let's click this corner of the cube. Let's draw a rectangle from this corner across 0.75 inches if it's on the line. Now we'll notice, hit escape, and down here in the bottom right hand corner you can see it says it's fully constrained. And we want to come out another 0.75 inches. Okay, so again, when you're building your parts, make sure that you use the origin and also make sure that uh, each sketch is fully constrained and build it as efficiently as possible using um, either cut or extrudes. Again, on over here, if you happen to make a mistake, you know, we can go back and we can edit sketches, we can edit features, um, you can make changes in the, within the browser.